Hello children, Uncle Jeff here again. Today we start our first lesson in mathematics. We'll begin with mathematics vocabulary. It's very important to have a clear understanding of every mathematical term that you may have to use or that is used on tests for you. So let's begin by introducing you to some very, very important mathematical terms. There we go. Mathematics, like English, requires a great deal of reading. Hence, it is utmost to learn what I will simply call the mathematics vocabulary. There are many words that, when used, give specific meaning. Today, let's look at some of these words. Let us first begin with the word sum, that's S-U-M, which is the result of addition. Hence, when you are asked to give the sum of 12 and 10, you must add these numbers and end with 10 and 12. Yes, you're correct, 22. The second word to know is the word product, which is the result of multiplication. Hence, when you're asked to find the product of 10 and 7, you must multiply these two numbers and end with 10 multiplied by 7 is correct again, 70, 70. The third word to know is the word difference, which is found by subtracting one number from another. Hence, when you're asked to find the difference between 24 and 12, you subtract the smaller number from the larger and end with, here we go, 24 minus 12 equals 12. Correct. The fourth word to know is quotient, and that's a tricky one, quotient, which results from dividing one number by another. It is not simply a matter of dividing 12 by 4 and getting 3. It must be noted that the remainder in, is never, ever, and I repeat, never, ever part of the quotient. Hence, when you're asked to find the quotient of 26 divided by 4, the answer is not 6 remainder 2, but 6. You never, ever put the remainder in the quotient. The fifth word to know is the word consecutive which refers to numbers that come one after another. Hence, when you're asked to identify three consecutive numbers that carry 10 as the middle number, you choose the number before and the number after 10. The three consecutive numbers will therefore be 9, 10, 11. The sixth word to know is the word even, which are those numbers that can be divided by two without leaving a remainder. Hence, when you're asked to identify the even numbers between 1 and 10, you will identify them as 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, because you, you can see 2 divided by 2 is 1, 4 divided by 2 is 2, 6 divided by 2 is 3, 8 divided by 2 is 4, 10 divided by 2 is 5, there are no remainders. These are those numbers that when divided by 2, leave absolutely no remainder. The seventh and final word for today is the word odd, which always leaves remainder 1 when divided by 2. Hence, when you are asked to identify the odd numbers between 1 and 10, you will identify them as 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. You see what I mean? They can, 2 can divide none of those Exactly. There must always be remainder. These numbers, when divided by 2, leave remainders. But always, always leave remainders. Here is your quiz for today. It features two questions. Identify the three consecutive odd numbers that have 57 as their sum. The three consecutive odd numbers that have 57 as their sum. And secondly, what is the quotient of 58 divided by 7? What is the quotient of 58 divided by 7? Good luck to you. We've ended our first lesson in mathematics.